Okay. How's this sounding? How is this sounding? We're getting set up now for the 5,000 subscriber celebration live. Let's go here, just going to wait for everyone to trickle through. Let's have a little look, shall we? Okay, I'm just waiting for everyone to trickle through to the live stream before we get cracking. Before we get this ball rolling. Let's have a little look. Six people in the live stream. Make sure you drop a comment and say hello. Let me know how the audio is and the quality as well. I'd love to know. Thank you. Here we go. That's that. I'm just setting up the live stream. Hey Luke, thanks for joining buddy. Great to see you on this Friday night. Join the live stream. I'm doing a 5,000 live stream celebration. Why not? Friday night. Let's enjoy the night. Let's do a cheeky live stream. Future investments here. Haven't done a live stream for a while. So yeah, let's see how this goes, shall we? Bear with me guys, I'm just updating the live stream details. Bear with me, sorry about this, it does take a brief moment. I can see there's six people in the chat. I'm going to be responding to your comments in a very moment. So just give me a brief second guys, and I promise I will be with you. Definitely let me know how the audio is sounding because I've got a new mic. And I'm very excited to see if the audio is performing a lot better during the live streams. I did upload my first video yesterday, which had the new mic set up. And I must say, I was rather pleased with the quality of the audio. And I think that's really important considering my content is so, so audio based. You don't see me particularly. You just hear the audio and see the backdrop. So for me, audio is extremely important. So I'm really hoping you guys are enjoying the new sound quality for sure i'm definitely enjoying uh, doing that so yeah right there we go the live stream is now updated this should all be tickety boot and set up here we go there we go that's everything update now bear with me guys and i'm coming straight to the comment section where i will be answering all of your wonderful and interesting questions here we go just checking the video setup. Right. Hi, Josh. Welcome to the live stream, mate. Luke said, love the setup, mate. Luke said, audio is good and clear. Just a little quiet, but turned it up. Okay, bear with me. I will be adjusting the audio quality and coming slightly closer to the mic. So hopefully that's not burning your ears now, mate. I hope that's okay. Let me know. I'm feeling pretty comfortable with this sort of angle on the microphone. Um, is it nice and clear? Because I would want it to be very clear for you guys. That's important. Let's just set this up a little bit closer. Here we go. I'm thinking that looks a bit better. There we go. Roland, audio is great. Great to hear that. Let me know if I'm coming a little bit too close or a little bit too far away from the mic. I want it to be nice and clear for you guys. Okay. So the sound man, welcome buddy. He says, hello all, well done future, amazing achievement. Thanks so much buddy. I can't actually believe I've hit 5,000 subscribers. I remember starting the channel in my flat. Um, we're talking, you know, nearly three years ago now, two and a half years ago, something like that. And uh, yeah, it's come a long way. So all thanks to you guys and your consistent support. It's absolutely crucial. Um, let's move this mic a little bit. I wanna give myself a little bit more room. Um, what do you think of the new audio, Si? I'm using a brand new 
high level quality microphone that I've invested in for the channel. I figured it was about time as I was hitting that level of 5,000 subscribers to really increase the audio input quality for you guys. It's so important. Let's adjust this a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, Luke said crystal, mate. Love to hear that. Ronald said audio is great. Um, Josh said thoughts on Tesla as an investment. Great question. I don't actually hold any Tesla individually as a stock, but I do hold Tesla in my S&P 500 and a massive part, massive part of the holding of the S&P is actually Tesla. So, yeah, I love it. I think it's a great investment. I think um, Elon Musk knows what he's doing and I don't think that company is going anywhere soon in the future. So, yeah, I think it's a good long term investment. Apologies if I'm stuttering a little bit. I've got two terrible mouth ulcers and they are really, really painful. So, um, yeah, I'm struggling a lot with that. I probably should take some ibuprofen shortly because I'm really struggling. But hopefully you guys can bear with me on that. Um, I'm really enjoying using this new mic. It's so cool. It's got a, a cat on the front to stop the, the wind and the muffling. Um, and it's it's just much more comfortable. Plug straight into the camera as well, which makes it easy. Um, thanks again, so I really appreciate your support. So I, our channel moderator, who's been a channel member for over six months, said, Hi, Luke. A tiny bit crackly here and there, but the sound quality is excellent. Okay, I will try to um, figure out how to improve that. Um, this is a bit of a new new microphone to me and it's picking up all the background noise from my partner in the other part of the house as well so that could be what potentially some of the crackling is um she is in the bathroom <laughs> um if you can brave it get salt on those ulcers it hurts like hell but clears them thanks mate yeah i have been gargling with salt water but definitely not enough i need to do it more because i'm in some serious pain but 50 people in the live stream how are we at 50 people it's gone from six to 50 Smash that like button, guys, please. If there's 50 people in here, wow. Thank you so much for tuning in on this Friday night. Um, da -da -da -da. Blistering Barnacles Adventures. Absolutely love that name. Said, good evening, everyone. Wanker, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Anchor Magnet. I'm not sure what he means by that. I see, he put that in a comment the other day. Does he mean Wanker Magnet? Because I'm not sure. <laughs> Josh said, gurgle a salt, wa salt water and mouth rinse. That will do the trick. Yeah, thanks, mate. I do need to do a bit more of that. Because they're like two bloody dinner plates inside my mouth. Sai, the sound man, our channel moderator and channel member, said, Hi, BBA. Luke said, Salt does it grand. It sure does. And it does hurt, but uh, it's worth it. Luke said, Evening, BBA. Blistering Barnacles Adventures. How is everyone? Not bad. My Nismo's clutch has completely gone kaput. So that's a bit annoying because I was supposed to be going to a car event this weekend. Doesn't look like that's happening, and I look like I'll probably be spending about two grand on that. So not very pleased at the moment, but what can you do? You can't have a race car and moan about the race car costs, can you, I suppose? So Metalhead Money, congrats, bro. Thanks so much, mate. I appreciate your support over all this time. Uh, Mo Mozo said, let's go band for band. I don't know what you mean by that. Small Stack Bullion, hi all. He said, Josh, when will we be getting a One Ounce Britannia giveaway? Well, if you join the channel membership in... Uh, 13, 14, in three days I'll be giving away an ounce of silver uh, to my channel members and currently we've got 12 channel members so the odds of winning are 1 in 12 very high, we've got the stack collector Sharshank Golight 132 one, Side the Salman Serpent Silver, Billionaire UK Joshua Tenny Thrankia 1942, Mr Kiwi, Jack Kennedy Silverboy Blues, That Nick Isaac the Guy and Margarita Pelevanovanov so, yeah, one in 12 chance of winning an ounce of silver in three days' time. All you've got to do is become a channel member. Link in the description below. Can't believe there's 59 people in the chat. Makes me nervous. Um, Gonzo Jamie, love the name. He waved. Waving back to you, buddy. Oh, I'm waving behind the mic. There we go. Um, he said, the anchor is a grappling hook and a magnet is a magnet. I do magnet fishing. Oh, I completely misinterpreted that. Love magnet fishing. I've watched quite a few videos on YouTube of people doing that and it just looks great fun. Not only can you find some cool stuff as well. Christ, those mouth ulcers are painful. Uh, Steeler Stacker said, Congratulations on 5K. Thank you so much, my friend. 
Really, really appreciate that. I can't believe I've hit over 5,000 subscribers. I mean, I've done YouTube all throughout the years. Not always been about investments. I've done everything you can imagine when I was a youngster all the way up till now. And future investments was the one that just felt the most right. I enjoyed the most and therefore it, it just benefited with subscribers. And here we are at 5,000. I remember celebrating 100 subscribers a few years ago. Well, a couple of years ago, not even that, less than two years ago. And uh, wow, here we are at five. So I'm looking forward to the future. You know, here's to 10,000 and 100,000 because I believe with you guys supporting and the way investments and the popularity of talking about money is going, we're definitely going to get there. Um, small stat bullion, welcome, mate. He said, congrats. Elations, future investments. Neo reps, hey from Cyprus. Hey, buddy. Welcome all the way from Cyprus. Metalhead Money said, are you still adding to your S&P 500 position given the strong run and the concentration with the Magnificent 7? Absolutely. I invest in the S&P 500 every month without fail, whether the price is high, whether the price is low. I invest the same amount, amount every single month without fail. And I do that on a dollar cost averaging basis because I believe in the S&P 500 for the long term. And if I was to worry about it, I don't really need to be too worried because I use gold bullion and silver bullion as my backbone of my import, my portfolio. So, you know, I believe in these other investment vehicles that I do invest in, like index funds, the FTSE 100 and the S&P 500 currently. And I have so much faith in the US and UK economy, more so in the US economy, but being British and a UK. Of the... Uh, multiple sectors so yeah um very pleased with that um sorry just getting a phone call there um uh neo reps any discount for the euro code for the european mint no um i do have a discount code for tavex bullion though we've got one here um it's future investments the link is in the bio below and it's uh, a big breakdown of all of the silver and gold discounts that apply for that. So you can get some great deals at Tavix Bullion. They're one of the UK's cheapest bullion dealers. And they've got bullion dealers all around Europe. So a great bullion dealer for sure. Um, Josh, does Mrs. Future Investments invest in gold? Great question. Keep the questions coming in, guys. Love that. No, no, she does not. In fact, she is not interested in uh, investments or money at all. I'm definitely the... Uh, the money man in the relationship there's no question about that but uh yeah you can't you can't you know force people to do anything so as long as she's happy and i'm happy i suppose that's all that matters uh side the sound man love seeing that six month logo for being a channel member for over six months i'm looking forward to seeing you at the year mark it looks like we're closing in on that now so thanks for your long-term support my friend side the sound man also said i'm at 87 subscribers and that even blows my mind I'm surprised you're not at more already, mate, because the level quality products you make are absolutely fantastic. So here's to 100 for you, mate. I'm looking forward to you achieving that, especially when you weren't even considering starting the channel. You were kind of pu pushed into it a little bit. Luke said, well-deserved 5K, mate. Celebrations for you. Really appreciate that, mate. Absolute legend. He says, you produce top quality stuff. And thank you, mate. That means a lot because... I tell you, a lot of time and a lot of my life goes into drafting, editing, filming, publishing, promoting, replying to comments. And I absolutely love it. Boy, does it take a massive chunk out of my life. So um, those comments, when I see them, really mean a lot. So I am trying to produce quality content for you guys that is not wasteful. I do never want to waste your time. I know how valuable your time is. So I really want to try and give some information to even the experienced investors, let alone the new investors in investing. And if you can get anything from that, then that's that's all worth it for me. Dylan, I just subscribed. When is the giveaway? Love that, Dylan. Thanks for subscribing. So the giveaway is on the 15th of every single month. This month, I'm giving away Tavex Bullion cotton gloves and an ounce of silver bullion. But to be in with a chance of winning, you have to become a channel member. A link is in the description below. So click that link and you can become a channel member. Not only do you get entry into automatic prize giveaways every single month, you get behind the scenes content, uh, you get your channels linked in every single video description, which is a pretty big thing really considering the channel's only growing and you can reach a vast audience by being in the description. 
monthly competition entry into the prizes and priority replies to your comments as members. I also do polls and sometimes early releases on my content. Um, Metalhead Money, did you get, I just got to stop a minute there, 365 Days of Silver sent a £5 super chat and he said congratulations on 5k subs. That is so generous buddy, I've hit a like on that and I've got to pin that at the top. I don't know how to do that. Um, well, I've liked it. Um, put user in timeout. No, we definitely don't want to do that. Wow. 365, thanks so much for that super chat, mate. Very generous of you. You're always so generous. I, I, I find it hard to match up to your generosity, and it's been a great journey. And a big thanks to you, mate, because you've given me so much advice and help along the way. And without you, I wouldn't have invested in index funds. So big shout out to 365 Days of Silver. Top, top bloke. And thank you for the super chat, my friend. Okay, back to the Metalhead Money question. Did you get a buy to let in the end? I am currently very close to getting my first buy to let. Well, I say very close. I'm looking at the start of next year, um, possibly June at the latest. So, yeah, it's looking promising. Uh, we'll see what happens. Obviously, things can come up. Um, but listen, I'm only 27 years old. I've got my own house, a nice car, multiple investment vehicles that are doing quite well. So I've realized that I don't need to rush. Um, you know, it's, to, it's good to enjoy life at the same time. So absolutely, I'm still buying my buy to let investment property on an interest only for passive income. And I'm very excited about that because my multiple streams of income are actually coming up now, which is great to see. So love the question, Metalhead Money. If you've got any more, bang them in the comment section. Silas Salman said, hi, 365. And Luke said, evening, 365, mate. Very popular guy, 365 is. Dylan, what do you think about cryptocurrency? Great question. I love crypto. I think there's a lot of money to be made in it. I like the volatility, despite that being a complete opposite from my own investment strategy. I think that it's a fun way of, you know, possibly making massive returns on your investment. I often talk about making a speculative set and forget investment in Bitcoin. I'm yet to do it, I think, because I'm so heavily focused on saving for my buy to let property and you need such a vast deposit here in the UK for that, that I'm very reluctant to take any money away from that savings because I know how long it's taken to get that first property. But, you know, I do want to do it. I probably should do it before the halving this April, but I just know I'm not going to because I'm too focused on my my strategy. And at the end of the day, my strategy, my strategy of long term and low risk is working. It's given me great yields. I've got next to no volatility in my portfolio. And that's what I like. I'm doing the long game and I'm very happy with that. But yeah, overall, I like cryptocurrencies. I don't know what the future holds for them, but I think there's money to be made. Um, the truth said well done thank you very much I appreciate that and uh, yeah lovely to see everyone in the comments please consider smashing that like button we've got nine likes on the chat so far five pound in super chats and I'm absolutely loving it it's great to do a live stream it's been a long long time I know 365 is off telling me to do a live stream and he actually suggested why don't you do a 5,000 subscriber celebration live stream and this was a few days ago and I just didn't have time and today I've got time. It's Friday night and I'm thinking, what the heck? Let's do it. So great to be here. Great to have you guys supporting me and watching. If you've got any questions, bang them in the comment section. If you want to see any particular content on the channel, maybe let me know what you enjoy the most. I'd love to see that. Interesting looking in the background here at this Britannia, though. Um, it's quite milky. Can you see that? Disappointing. Again, oh, look at that milk spots. Christ, that is poor, isn't it? Look at the milk spots. I find it very hard to see how that won't affect your resale price. I know it's only weight, it's only worth its own weight and purity, but Christ, it's lucky that's not a proof coin, isn't it? Or a collector's piece like a Royal Myths Legend series, because bloody hell, I feel like that would really irritate you. That's why I've gone to bars, but look, even that's milk spotting a little bit. Very annoying, actually. That's very annoying. Never mind. It's only silver. Could be worse. Um, congratulations on 5k subs. Your super chat has received five likes. 365. Great to see that. Um, 365. Thanks for the question. He said, have you decided on an area for your first buy to let? Love that question. Not often 
asked in the chats. Yes, my potential location is Liverpool. Um, I like the property price market down there. You can get a two to three bed terraced turnkey buy to let property for, you know, a hundred grand and less. So that's my top end budget, a hundred grand. I'd like to get lower than that. And my goal is to save up a 25% deposit. So I'll let you work out what that is and a little buffer as well for fees and costs um, to set up the buy to let. And uh, yeah, Liverpool, because the price point is good. It seems like a lot of investors are seeing that area of the UK as a good investment area. Um, my plan is to get that deposit together and then go up, book a few days off work and basically have a massive period of time in uh, going around, viewing properties, um, reviewing them, giving um, offers, you know, email offers, really low ball in the market and trying to get in there. That's my goal. So, yeah, great question. Thank you for that one. Kelly Schechner, Schenk, Schenker guitar lessons put milk bottle and a unicorn. Not sure what that means, but thank you for the comment. Um, 20 people in the live chat. Amazing. Smash that like button, please, guys. We've got 11 likes. I'd really appreciate it if you're enjoying it. Let me know by hitting that like button. Also, just as an update, let me know how the audio is getting on. I am testing out this new microphone on the live stream. I hope it's clear. I hope it's not too loud in points. I hope it's consistent. So just, just drop me a comment if you can. I want to make sure you're hearing everything nice and clearly and that it's, it's not too loud. Metalhead Money said, you've got your head screwed on at 27. Good man. On the buy to let front, pay attention to the tax implications as it can be surprisingly punitive in personal names. I have a buy to let but prefer my SIPP and ISA, frankly. Very interesting. Thanks for that comment. I think I would be opening up my investment property under a limited company. Um, I believe there's some tax benefits around that. 365 will be a good one to talk to about that because he's already got two buy-to-lets, probably three buy-to-lets soon. I know he's been having chats with him. So I think I've seen things that make me say that having investment properties are is better doing it in a company because you can get around some of those tax implications. Correct me if I'm wrong, anyone, in these comments. Obviously, I haven't even got my first one yet, but I'm on the way. Um, I know that the UK government is taking some of the benefits out of being a, a landlord in the UK, and that there's becoming more loopholes that you've got to jump through and stuff like that. So I'm very much aware of that. So I'm going to make sure my focus towards the end of this year and the start of next year is to focus my network on talking to people with those investment properties to get the most information to my benefit as possible. Great, great comment. I really appreciate that. I know the stat collector's got a fidelity ISA. I was watching his video today. Great video. And um, he showed his ISA at the end of it, his fidelity ISA. And I love that. Um, I do have an ISA. My ISA is on... Excuse me, sorry about that. My ISA is on trading 212 for my index funds. Um, but I kind of see like a specific individual ISA, like a bank ISA or a Fidelity ISA as something a bit more safe, a bit more secure, a bit more consistent, even though index funds generically are pretty good. Um, so I might be considering also opening up a Fidelity own ISA. Again, it's more diversification. You know, if something was to happen to trading 212 or S&P or the FTSE 100, I'd have you know, Fidelity's, Fidelity's ISA to cover me as well. Um, audio is spot on. Thanks, 365. Appreciate that comment, my friend. Um, does it sound better than it used to be? Because I'm hoping this new mic sounds much clearer and much more has much more depth. Metalhead Money said, the leveraged expert 49 people in the live stream. That's blowing my mind. Don't think we've ever had that many in the live stream. Uh, Metalhead said the leveraged exposure via the mortgage can pay off for capital appreciation, but you'll find out find on monthly income your net slash net return takes a pasting from HMRC. Oh, really? OK, that's interesting to know. I know there's definitely a lot more research for me to do. I'm currently reading a, bot, a book at the moment. Uh, my goal is three books a year. And I'm on um, a book by a lady who's written it all about um, five investment properties that can change your life. Basically, she's talking about HMOs, which 
isn't particularly my thing because I'm not experienced enough. I want to get buy to lets first, but I could definitely see buy to let um, HMOs being something I'd look into once I'm in a much more experienced property investor. Excuse me, I'm just having a little drink. <sighs> Lovely. Um, okay. Metalhead Money said, 60 people in the live stream. You guys, someone must be sharing the hell out of this live stream because I love that. Uh, 60 people, amazing stuff. Um, Metalhead Money, yeah, limited. The limited can make sense for a buy to let as long as you cover the fixed costs, which tends to kicking at in at C3 plus properties. Okay, good luck, man. Thanks for the advice, Metalhead Money. Love that you've, uh, you're have you someone who's on my journey that I'm wanting to take, so really nice to see that. Thank you for the comments. Appreciate that. And always, you know, hit me up if you've got comments and information about buy to lets and you want to just get chatting about it. I'd love that. I'm on Discord and uh, with the stack stack of social Discord. And, uh, you know, you can email me as well. Uh, Mr. Urban World. Love the name and the cowboy uh, emoji. I make a living on 0.925 sterling silver and thinking about using the profits to stack silver coins and rounds. I'm from the USA was randomly just recommended this channel. I do around 50 to 70,000 K per year on profits on 0.925 sterling silver. I hope to reach six figures this year. Wow. Thank you for sharing that, Mr. Urban World. I love the fact that you've been recommended the live stream. YouTube's doing its thing for me right now, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to hear that you're making great profits on selling silver. That's really, really good. What's that? And, uh, sorry, um, da -da -da -da. yeah, so good. That's a mental amount of profits. Um, I know the U USA has a some of the really good benefits on buying silver. Over here, we get taxed really heavily on silver, and there's a lot of VAT, so it does make silver very difficult to justify as a wise financial investment. I think a lot of, a lot of people these days are collectors, and are hopeful that it's um, undervalued right now and that it's going to increase over the next few decades. And I am a believer of that as well. God, I'm so thirsty right now. Um, three, six, five days of silver. 84 people. YouTube's doing something tonight. Great to... I can't keep up with the comments. YouTube's smashing it. Holy moly, what's going on? If you are enjoying the live stream, smash that like button, guys, and become a subscriber. And if you want extra content... And to have the chance to win Silver Bullion in three days' time, become a channel member. I do a giveaway every single month. Right. And again, if I apologise, I apologise if I miss any comments. You guys are smashing it and there's over 80 people in the live stream. So um, I'm doing my best to pick through them. Um, right. Here we go. Um, 365. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. There are positives and negatives both. Mine are in my personal name. Oh, that's interesting, 365. For some reason, I thought they were... Set up as a company. I don't know why. Very interesting. I'd have to speak to you personally more about that in the future. Kieran Williams. Hey, buddy. Great to see you come in the live stream. Well done on your 5K. Thank you so much, mate. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 365 Days of Silver. 84 people in the live. I know. Incredible. Misha92. I have nothing. Can you send me 0 0.1 gram? Oh, bless you. Well, listen. 0 0.1 gram, that's not really worth anything, is it? Try and get yourself a 1 gram gold bar. You can achieve that through consistent saving, cutting out some spending that you might not necessarily do. You might be able to find yourself picking up that 1 gram gold bar. And I'll tell you what, it's a fantastic start of your journey. I know everyone's circumstances are different and times are hard for people. But if you can start your journey, I think you won't regret it. Uh, Mr. Urban World, basically custom silver pendants. This is why I'm able to do profit from the labor and the customization. Love that. So it's almost like art artwork and you're charging a premium for your time and your skill. Love that. Great work. What time is it over in the United States and where are you in the, in the United States? Love that. I love America. Space Miner, hey all, congrats on the huge sub count. Thanks, mate. Really appreciate that support. Great to see you in the live stream. Mr. Urban World, but I'm going to check out your website right now. Yep, click the link in the description and uh, you can become a channel member for all of the wicked benefits. Luke, Space Miner, evening mate. Ariane, 
Arian Duran. Dude, asking for one gram silver. Gold, maybe, yeah. If you're going to ask for something, ask for gold at least. Why not? If you're going to chance your luck, you should at least try and get some gold, I think. Josh, great to see you here, mate. At what point do you decide to buy your time? At what point do you decide when to buy gold? When it's currently at an all-time high, do you wait for a dip? Listen, I get this question a lot on my channel, and it's a great one, especially for new investors. I like the saying, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The next best time is today. And I believe that's the case when it comes to gold. Gold isn't a short-term investment. It's not going to get you rich. It's going to keep you rich. Now, gold is an investment that you need to hold on really for a long-term hold. You pay a lot of premiums on your initial purchase, unless you're buying privately, which isn't always the best thing to do because there are risks to that, but you can get cheaper bullion. Normally, generically, people go direct to bullion dealers, so you pay those premiums. So you do have to hold it for a few years to recoup your money and recoup those premiums. In that meantime, you're also hedging against inflation and preserving your wealth. And then after you've held it for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, the average increase on gold is fantastic per year. The yields are great. So you're actually going to increase that saving of wealth preservation. So listen, I was in the past when I was a new investor to gold, I used to try and wait and buy the dips. But all I found was I ended up waiting and then ended up buying at the same point price point anyway, because gold very rarely comes back down. It kind of has an incremental growth. So in my opinion, and I'm no financial advisor, I would just say get hold of some, hold it, and you'll you'll be glad you did because in six months, a year from now, you'll look at the price and the chances are you'll go, I'm glad I bought that when I did. But that's just my personal experience. Some people in the comments may have a different opinion on that. And let's have a look. Right, Mr. Urban World, here in my state, they are trying to pass a bill that will allow silver to be legal tender this year. So we'll be able to shop with silver coins if stores allow. Wow, that's amazing. Love that. I know that over here, I have got a legal tender piece. That's say Queen Elizabeth Britannia with loads of milk spots. And you could technically spend that in a shop. It's got a fiat value of two pounds here. Um, but if you took that to a cashier, they're never going to accept that because the generic population have no idea about bullion as an investment, let alone as the fact that you can spend it as legal tender. But Imagine if silver fully was legal tender. That would be pretty cool. Um, Haddish Mac, hello, he said, and welcome to the live stream. Thanks for coming in, buddy. Side the Sound Man, our channel member, said 76 people watching. Incredible. I know it keeps going up and down, and I'm loving it. Um, 365 is greeting everyone as a channel moderator. Great job, Cy, si, and 365. Appreciate your the work as channel mods. Um, Josh, where is your favorite holiday destination future? Love this. Doesn't always have to be investment questions. Chuck me any question you want. I love these questions. I, oh, I want to go to Japan. That's on my, my New Year's resolution list. It doesn't look like I'm going to achieve it this year because I am going to Amsterdam and Poland this year, which is already booked. But my ultimate dream is to go to Japan. I want to go and see the Tokyo side of it, the car culture, the town, the nightlife, and then I also want to go and see historic Japan. So I will do it one day, um, but I'm such a big heavy investor in my investment vehicles right now that spending six grand on a, on a trip to Japan is, is really hard to stomach. So I'm going to have to work myself into it, but I've been wanting to go for a couple of years. But love that question, Josh. How about yourself? Where would you like to go or where have you been that's your favourite destination? I did go to Australia in 2008 and I went to Florida in 2012 and both of them countries were amazing. Um, KMAC, silver or gold for a new stacker? Great question. Why not a bit of both? Diversification is key in protecting yourself and also giving yourself better chance of yielding greater results. So maybe look at trying to get a little bit of both. That's what I would say. Josh, do you have premium bonds future? Absolutely. I hold NSNI premium bonds. It's actually where I hold my funds for my buy-to-let property. There's probably better places to hold it. I could probably put that capital into index funds like the S&P or a Fidelity fund, or ISA, and get you know more consistent results. But I like the fun of the NSNI premium bonds. I have won quite a bit of money last year. 
So let's see what happens this year. I haven't really won much this year. It's a fun way of saving money, essentially. Um, so the sound man, our channel moderator, said future investments. What are the best S&P products for an ISA? Love that question from you, Si. So if I was looking at the S&P 500, I would be going for the VUAAG ISA on the S&P 500 through the trading app Trading212. The reason I say Trading212 is because it's greatly recognized, it's well reviewed, and the fees are very low. I would also use the ISAP because you can invest up to £20,000 every year without paying any tax. And of course, no one wants to pay tax. And you can also access the S&P 500 through Vanguard's index fund. And Vanguard is probably the longest um, company to have set up and created an index fund to track the S&P 500. So my opinion is trading 212, Vanguard, S&P, VUAAG under an ISA. Hope that helps me. Space Miner, guys, there are, uh, there are other valuable metals. If you're not appreciating the price of your choice, choose another. Great point. People do like platinum. I don't hold any. Not a lot of people hold platinum, but it's definitely a, a third precious metal out there that, you know, is extremely valuable. Thank you to the 35 people still in the live chat with 20 likes and a £5 super chat. Absolutely loving it. All right, let's get back to some of these questions. Okay. Um... Nasir Zaman, welcome buddy, great to see you in the live stream um, Gold hitting all highs buddy, absolutely Gold is smashing it at the moment And uh, uh, it makes me very happy to see that Nasir, I believe you used to be a channel member, didn't you? Am I correct in thinking that? Um, yeah, gold is smashing it right now And if you're buying, it's hard to justify But if you've already got a precious metal stack It's great, isn't it? Because it's only increasing your, your net worth and preserving your wealth Tony the Wizard, love that name. Congratulations on 5K subscribers, bud. Thank you so much, Tony, with your support and everyone else's. I've managed to get there. So here's to 10,000. Blister in Barnacles Adventures. Hang on, I'll count them 365. He's referring to his SS stickers, stack of social stickers. Shadow Deca Convolution. Have you considered going all in on gold? Leave you with nothing and have to hustle everything back? Great question. I thought about it. I thought about dumping a lot more capital into bullion, but I like diversification in my investment portfolio. I think diversification is key for spreading your risk and also spreading your potential chance for yielding a nice amount of yields throughout the coming years. So no, I'm never gonna put all of my eggs in one basket. That's the answer to the simple question. Um, Tony the Wizard, glad I caught the live stream. Oh man, love that. Thank you. Really appreciate that comment. I'm glad you're here as well, Tony. Josh, I'm just home from Barcelona on Thursday. It was great. I would love to do um, Southeast Asia though. Wow. Yeah, love that, mate. Barcelona. I went there a couple of times as a kid with my family. Haven't been back for a long time, but Asia sounds amazing. I'd love to do um, Thailand and stuff like that. Blistering Barnacles said uh, lots of emojis. Um, Michael said, wow, this is awesome. I have been watching this channel for a while now. Oh, I love that, Michael. Thanks for supporting me. Really great to have you in the live stream tonight. Let me know where you are in the world. I'd love to know where you're watching from. Um, Michael said, can we donate for a giveaway? Are you doing giveaways? How does this work? That's very kind of you, Michael. I will never ask for donations. Um, but I do do giveaways. I said do do. <laughs> um, I'm doing giveaways on the channel. If you click the link in the description, it says join this channel to access perks. Every single month on the 15th of every month, I do silver and gold giveaways. I've given lots of gold back American notes away, lots of custom Tavex gloves. And I also have given away lots of silver. And in three days time, I'll be giving away more silver bullion. Currently, we've only got 12 channel members, so your chances of winning are 1 in 12 of picking up some custom cotton Tavex bullion gloves and an ounce of silver. And yes, I post it anywhere in the globe. Not only that, but you get behind the scenes content, early released content, members YouTube channels are all promoted in the description below, and you get priority applied to your comments. I mean, pretty cool to me. I think that's well worth it. Let's go back up to the comments. Uh, if you do want to donate, Michael, just send me an email, though, and I can give it away to my channel members. I would absolutely be thrilled to be able to do that. Um, Scott Silver, welcome, buddy. Hang on a minute. 
I've got something to show you, Scott Silver. Here he is, Mr. Highland Cow. Got a little bit of dust on his eye there. Scott Scott Silver, if you didn't know, gave me Mr. Highland Cow because I kept talking about his in his videos, and uh, I think he got the idea that I liked his Highland Cows, so he's bought me my very own, and I love him. He's pretty cool, and he's my channel mascot. Um, great to see you in the live, Scott. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Uh, he said, you'd be proud of me, future investments. Bought my first Bitcoin this week. Wow. Love that, Scott. Very, very cool. I'm yet to even get my own um, start into Bitcoin. So um, great, mate. Well done. I think it's a smart decision because there is a halving coming up and I probably should do it myself, but I need to allocate some more funds to it. Three nines. Aloha. Love that. Are you from Hawaii? Because that makes me think you're from Hawaii. Alex Dow here from New Zealand. Love that. God, you guys are from all over the world, and there's 60 people in the in the in the chat. I love this. Let me know where you're from in the world. It's so cool. And uh, let me know what time it is as well. In the UK right now, it's currently quarter to ten at night. Um, Josh said, just check the price of a quarter ounce Britannia. Holy shit. £513 last time I checked. It was 460 Wow. Holy shit. That tells you all you need to know for gold price right now. Last gold Britannia I bought was about £450. So, yeah, it shows, doesn't it? The best time to buy is now because it's only going to keep increasing. Holy shit. £513 for 7.7 .7 grams of gold. Wow. Can you imagine what a one gram gold bar is going to be in five, ten years? It's probably going to be the only affordable piece of bullion people can get hold of. And on that note, 73 people in the chat. Massive thank you to everyone. Hit that subscribe button and that like button if you're enjoying the content. And if you've got any questions, it doesn't have to just be about investments. Bang it in the live chat. Blistering Barnacles Adventure said, I want more 365. Soon I'll get them all over hi yo said yo scott silver out here <laughs> not reading that next bit um but he said hi scott silver josh is from northern ireland oh wait i can do it i think i could do a northern irish accent ready <clears throat> here we go oh this is terrible i'm gonna get i'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get uh ruined for this northern ireland south belfast what's your name who are you and where are you from is that good Northern Ireland, South Belfast. Who are you and where are you from? Um, sorry, Josh, if I've just butchered your your own uh, accent there. Uh, New Mexico, and it's currently quarter to three in the afternoon. Love that. New Mexico, USA. Love that. Scots, uh, I'm feeling crazy tonight. I can't believe I just attempted. Ron, Ron in still said that was horrendous. Josh said, that's not bad. I think Josh is just being polite. Uh, yeah, that was pretty bad. Um, Northern, <laughs> Northern Ireland, South Belfast. Who are you and where are you from? What do you think? Come on. <laughs> oh, I'm going to stop now because I'm embarrassing myself. Anyway, uh, Scott said, hi, yo. Yeah, bought it just in time for the pre-halving dump. My luck all over. When is actually the halving for Bitcoin? How, how, much, how many days have I got left? Josh, one ounce gold Britannia. Holy shit. And one ounce gold Britannia is nearly £2,000. I remember two years ago looking at the James Bond uh, No Time to Die one ounce gold bars and they were like £1,400 and I thought that was so expensive at the time. I remember I nearly bought one but I was like, no, I can't pay that price. Now a generic Britannia is nearly £2,000. Absolutely incredible. 61 people in the live chat. Loving the support, guys. Uh, Blistering Barnacles is from Nottingham. Love that. Um, have you soaked all those Brits to get rid of the tracking chips? Yes. That's why they've got milk spots, because I put them in the water uh, to get rid of those tracking chips, 365. And, uh, yeah, they milk spotted because of it. But at least the tracking chips have been destroyed. Okay, Luke. Um, Shadow Decon... Evolution. I love that name. Do you think this is a huge bubble that will burst and sideways trade for years after? No, I don't. If you're referring to gold bullion, 
I think that gold is only going to keep going up over the next few decades. Um, and that, at least that's what I hope because I plan to liquidate my entire precious metals portfolio in, in 20 years for an early retirement. So, yeah, I do have massive faith in it. Listen, at the end of the day, if we are in a bubble, it might come down a bit, but I do think it will come back up. Hello to 80 people in live stream. Um, yeah, Josh said, that's not bad. Thanks for referring to my Irish accent. Hiyo said, now speak fluent Russian. No Russian, but I can speak Polish if you want me to speak Polish. I don't know if we've got any Polish people in the live stream. Station Plaza said, hi, future. All seems good from here. Josh Lineker, love that name. It's uh, thoughts on pre-1947 silver coins. Um, most of the pre-decimal coins I have are from the stack collector and they're in a separate um, location from my bullion. It's like a collection collection stock I have. So my knowledge on pre-decimal and historic coins is pretty poor, but I do have a lovely collection, mostly from the stack collector. Scott Silver. Future Investments does a great Beckham impression. Yeah, was it you that said I sound like David Beckham? Because I don't think I do. But I remember someone saying I sound like David Beckham and it made me chuckle. But, you know, maybe I'll take it as a compliment. Luke, 21st is the halving. Is that what you're referring to? Uh, Hi-Yo said, Future Investments is a goofy bugger. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit goofy tonight. But listen, let's have some fun. Life's serious. So life's too serious sometimes and it's nice to have a giggle. 73 people in the chat, wow. 20th of April is the uh, halving, you think, Scott? Okay, so I've got eight days to get some Bitcoin. What's the logo in the background? So that logo is um, Addicted to Precious Metals. Everyone that sent me a channel sticker, I have it up on the screen, up on the backdrop here. You can see it there. I'll give a brief show to that. Um, we've got all sorts of channel members uh, here on the backdrop that have sent me some wonderful um, stickers, which I treasure. It's only going to get bigger, hopefully. The more I get sent, the more will go up there. Okay, um, let's have a little look for a brief moment at the chat section. Uh, sorry, I'm just goofing. Have a good one, fellas. Thanks for hopping in, mate. Really appreciate it. Anyone having a beer tonight or a cider? Let me know. I've already drunk my juice <laughs> and I need another drink. My mouth's so dry. That's the only issue doing a live stream on your own. You can't really hop off and just go and get yourself a drink. Uh, hey, can I have one? What would you like? Let me know. Um, Scott's, yeah, it was me. What do you think, folks? Close your eyes and listen to him. A dead ringer for Posh Spice. <laughs> listen, I don't know about that. I wish I had David Beckham's bank account. I know that. Um, but maybe one day. I've got a long way to go to achieve that level of success, I think. But, uh, you know, never say never. Just quite a Justin Bieber song there. Uh, Blister in Barnacles Adventure says Strongbow, very nice. Glad you're having a nice, a nice bevy on this Friday night. Um, da -da -da -da, Seventy-one people in the chat. Like I said, guys, if you want to get more access and free entry into giveaways every single month, just become a channel member, and you can get some real goodies. In three days, I'll be giving away some custom Tavex bullion gloves. And uh, some silver. In fact, I might have some of my own custom Tavex gloves to hand here. Yeah, they're getting a little bit raggy now, but uh, here they are. Yeah, okay. Um, here we go. Here's some custom Tavex gloves. They're very nice. They're hand-stitched and, uh, well, they're embroidered, should I say. They're very nice. Great for holding your bullion. I give away a pair of these every single month along with some silver. So, very cool. Mine are quite used, so I need to crack out a new pair. Um, da -da -da -da. Let's flick that off. Okay, right. If you've got any questions, guys, just give me a, give me a question. That looks... Uh, that wall looks bold without my stickers on it, bro. Definitely send me a sticker, mate. Uh, my email is in the description below. Just send me some sticker. Send me an email. I'll give you my postal address, and I'll bang it on the wall behind. A Arian Duran says, "When is the free giveaway? Time and date? It's in three days' time. I do a silver giveaway on the fifteenth of every month. If you go in the description of this video, become a channel member, and you'll be automatically entered into winning 
silver prizes and gold prizes. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is become a channel member. Shadow Deconvolution says, say one ounce 24 carat hits 4,000 in a while. Surely, who would be able to afford any gold products apart from the wealthy? Tavex would have no business. Listen, it's a good question, that, isn't it? But I believe that that's that we're talking about we're talking about inflation there aren't we we're talking about inflation and price rises and and yes wages do not keep up with inflation but i understand what you're saying i do however think there will always be people that can afford it but the disparity between the wealth gap will consistently increase making it harder for people to buy gold yes there's always been people that can buy gold and have been able to buy gold and there's always been people that haven't been able to buy gold and cannot still buy gold so there will always be a huge disparity between the wealthy and the poor but uh, yeah you're right and i think it will get to a point when gold is so expensive that we'll be looking at one gram gold bars as really the only realistic investment for people to actually be able to pick up gold because it is already so expensive. I mean, right now we're looking at, you know, what, seven, 50 to 70 pounds for a one gram gold bar, depending where you buy from. And, you know, even more than 70 pounds for a tiny one gram gold bar. It's a lot of money, isn't it? And I think as soon as we see sort of gold hit that price level where a one gram gold bar is selling for a hundred pound then we know that gold is is really rocketing and and we're on that journey of it becoming really hard for even investors to purchase because when you're talking about that sort of level of a hundred pound per one gram i mean that's an astronomical amount of money for a tiny 24 carat one gram gold bar isn't it and it's definitely going to happen Blistering, blistering, blistering Barnacle said, get me your address. Dude, my address is, uh, well, I'm not going to give it to you on the live stream, but send me an email. My email is futureinvestments2022 at gmail.com, futureinvestments2022 at gmail.com, and I'll, I'll reply to you with my postal address, buddy, and uh, we can get that sorted. And, uh, yeah. Um, Brian, just discovered your channel by accident. Congratulations on the 5,000 subscribers. Love that. Thanks very much, Brian. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. 365 said, I need to jump off future investments. Great live and speak soon, mate. Take care, everyone. Thank you for the super chat donation of £5.365 and for your support, mate. Great to see you in the live stream tonight. And uh, yeah, catch up with you soon, buddy. Thanks very much, mate. Station Plaza. I just can't resist getting another one ounce year of the dragon bar by pamp it looks so gorgeous yeah they do don't they tavix bullion have been great and they've sent me a one ounce uh, year of the dragon bar and i've got to say in gold it was stunning very very nice i don't actually own one myself but they are a little spoiler here for anyone in the live stream they're going to be sending me a one ounce gold call of duty gold bar in the next couple of weeks i will be the first youtuber to review call of duty gold bar a one ounce call of duty gold bar will be the very first person on all of youtube to review that so a real exclusive look there which i'm very very excited to see quite a niche thing i think it's more of the younger investors who are into call of duty or the the game but you know nonetheless how cool is that so really looking forward to be able to uh showcasing that piece and if you're a channel member you'll be getting first look exclusive access to that gold bar as soon as i get my hands on it from tavix bullion renstock said congratulations thank you ren i really appreciate that we should collaborate ren i said yeah i'm well up for that i haven't been that um that uh, public on live streams for a while i've been so busy creating content for everyone as the channel grows it really does take up a lot of my time but if you want to collaborate send me an email futureinvestments2022 at gmail.com emails in the description below and we can definitely work something out jk congratulations on 5,000 subscribers i appreciate that my friend thank you so much if you do enjoy this content and are enjoying the live stream consider hitting that subscribe button and that like button if you really like the content then maybe you might want to become a channel member you can click the join button below for all of the benefits that come with it so yeah i've got some great stuff coming from tavex bullion soon lots of gold pieces i am hoping one day they send me a one kilogram gold bar 
I did actually visit a bullion dealer in London by the name of Bullion House and they actually let me look at over half a million pound of gold bullion and that was a fantastic day and uh, yeah I got to hold a one kilogram gold bar so really really fun day. Um, Isa Zaman, hello and welcome to the live stream. You are one of the 71 people watching the live stream here on YouTube right now. Ren Stock said, I'm 14 and I love stacking. Wow, we've got another young stacker in the community. Welcome. And it's great to uh, have a young person investing for their future. Really, really amazing because if you can do it now, I didn't start investing till about 25. Um, you're going to really smash it. I mean, you've, you're going to absolutely smash it. So... Make sure you enjoy life. Don't get too caught up in money. But if you're smart enough and already on that game, then you're going to be absolutely laughing by the time you're a young adult. Young adult. You said, Ren said, if I'm in the United States, can I buy Tavex? Tavex have over 16 billion dealers all over Europe. None in the United States, but they do post around the globe, I believe. So have a look. Click the link in the description. You can always contact them via email and they'll soon tell you. John Ingham, well, welcome. Great to see you, mate. Really makes me happy seeing you in the live stream. I hope you're feeling better after your visit to the hospital. He said, well done, future investments on your 5,000 subscribers. Here to your next milestone, my friend. Thanks, John. Appreciate your support, your long-time support as well. It's been it's been a long time and uh, really glad you're, uh, you're doing okay. Thanks for coming into the live stream, my friend. 73 people in the live stream. If you've got any questions, by the way, and it doesn't have to be investment related, if it's about me, something you're curious to know, maybe I can tell you, maybe not. If you uh, have a curious question, then it's conspiracy or anything like that. We're here to have fun tonight on this live stream, but keep it coming. If you want to talk about investments, that's what we're here to talk about. Scott Silver has come in with a comment saying, unpopular opinion, but I can see gold and silver both dropping next week and eventually silver settling up around 21 pound per ounce and gold at around 1730 pound per ounce in the next couple of months wishful thinking or possible great comment um i mean right now gold silver's over over 20 pound an ounce isn't it i believe and silver is over 1700 pound an ounce so yeah uh i can see it coming back down a little bit for sure i i think we are in a little bit of a bull run when it comes to gold right now and silver, actually. So maybe it might plateau, um, but I don't think it's going to drop back below, you know, let's say £20 an ounce for silver. I think I think silver's reached its new benchmark now. And to be honest, I feel like it's been a long time coming for silver to hit £20 an ounce. A long, long time coming. So, yeah. Great to see it there, and I hope that it doesn't fall back too much. Renstock says, do you like platinum? Not really. I don't own any platinum, so I suppose that's the answer to your question. I think maybe it's good to get hold of some for extra diversification, but I just don't see um, too much use for it. Um, John said, thanks for that future investments. I'm on the mend and feeling pretty good. Glad you're feeling pretty good, John. That's great. Hope your yacht and your boat are doing good as well. Uh, 84 people in the live stream. Absolutely loving that. Thanks so much for all your support. Um, great to have you guys. Scott Silver said, Silver Spot, Silver Spot currently 22.40 per ounce. Wow. Wow. I mean, it was sitting at £16 an ounce, wasn't it? Not that long ago. So... And for a long time as well, 16, 17 pound, it's been very, very flat for a long time, a good year. Um, so to see it finally break out of its flatness and soar past that 20 pound per ounce is great. Because if you are a silver holder, you'll know that, you know, there's a lot of premiums, a lot of VAT surrounding silver bullion as an investment in the UK. And for it to finally start having some yields after everyone is saying it is undervalued, is really reassuring, isn't it, as an investor? So let's hope that it continues to rise. It continues to rise. I still think silver's got a way to go. I wouldn't have invested in it myself if I didn't believe that. So great to see it finally break through that that ceiling of you know sixteen to seventeen pound per ounce. LMMJ said, "Did anyone buy when an ounce was around fourteen hundred pound last year? I wish I did." 
right now. Yeah, that's the thing. I was talking about this earlier. Someone said to me, when should I buy gold? Is it too expensive to buy now and should I wait? And my answer was the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The next best time is today. And I think that comes into play when it's precious metals as well. And I think that saying will still be able to use in 20 years from now. You know, so look at it that way. I used to try and buy the dips and I ended up just waiting for nothing and end up buying anyway when it was still expensive because gold very rarely comes back down in price. Tony the Wizard, once again, I love that name. He said, I saw silver hit just over £23 per ounce today. Absolutely incredible. Love seeing that as a silver investor myself. Makes me... It makes me pretty happy. Excuse me. It makes me pretty happy because silver's expensive and I kind of capped out on my silver investment. I ended up buying more than I wanted last year, which I'm happy about. Um, but I, I've, I'm pretty much done with silver now. So, yeah, I'm happy to see the price increasing because I know I'm not really going to be buying much more over the next decade or two. Direct bullion. When I first started buying, it was £600 an ounce. Absolutely incredible. Love the uh, name, Direct Bullion. It sounds like a proper professional business, that. I can imagine you having your own bullion dealership, Direct Bullion. Great name, very great name. Never seen you before, so great to have you here in the comment section. And a big shout out to the 65 people watching the live stream. Even if you're not commenting, thank you for spending the time this evening to enjoy this live stream. Joseph Lopez says, hi, Ren Stocks. Ren Stocks said... As a 14-year-old, I have a twin I have 27 ounces of silver, three grams of gold, and a half ounce of platinum. Bloody hell. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. The good thing is for you, because you're young, it's hard for you to open up an ISA and invest in index funds and get property and those sort of things. So being able to buy tangible bullion is going to really be a great long-term wealth preservation for you and by the time you become an adult and you you develop in life and you become a family man or you do whatever then investments in precious metals would have matured and will have really given you a nice string to your bow so yeah keep going buddy uh you've obviously got good a good network around you to lead you on that journey and help you get into precious metals most people don't have that Excuse me. Uh, Joseph Lopez said, congrats on 5,000 subscribers. Love that. Thanks very much, mate. Um, John Ingham said, I cannot believe that silver has gone past £22 an ounce. As a larger silver stacker, I'm really happy at the moment because most of my stack was bought at about £16 an ounce. Wow, I'm feeling, I'm so, I'm feeling so good. And that's what I'm saying. Silver was sitting at £16, £17 an ounce flat for such a long time. And, you know... It seems so stale. I think that's why people were buying it because they were like, it's got to break that ceiling soon. And I, I, I thought to myself, once it hits that £20 an ounce mark, I don't see it ever coming below that. So it broke through the ceiling and it, I think it's going to stay there and increase. I don't think it's going to come back down. Excuse me. Joseph Lopez said, I'm doing great. I want to send you a photo of my silver collection. It's been a while since I emailed people. That's great to hear. Ren stocks. I have 1.2k dollars in stocks. Bloody hell. At 14 years old, you must have a very good network around you. Ren stocks said, Joseph, make a YouTube channel. 65 people watching now. Love that. Um, guys, I might have to get a drink in two seconds because I'm so thirsty. I'm literally going to hop off to get a drink. If you can bear with me. I will be two minutes. I'm literally going to top up a drink because I'm struggling right now. So I won't go anywhere in terms of live stream, but give me two minutes and I will be back. Hold the line, caller, please. Hold the line.
Okay, future investors, I'm back. Sorry for the uh, technical interruption there. Great to see that there's still 70 people here. I expected a few people to drop off there, but you guys are smashing it, so thank you for that. Right, let's get back to the comment section. Okay, 70 people in a live stream, 23 likes. Come on, guys, if you're enjoying it, smash that like button for me. It costs nothing, and it really helps support the channel. Let's get that like, like button a bit higher. KMMA said, what's with these bullion channels? I've invested £500 in gold and silver this week, but most of the channels every single week is silver is going to break. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure what you're referring to with me because if when was the last video I said silver is going to break? Um, I often talk about gold. Silver just doesn't perform that well on, on YouTube normally. So, but I mean, yeah, silver has broke. It's broke the ceiling. It was sixteen, seventeen pound an ounce flat for a, at least a year, and now it's broken twenty pound an ounce. So I mean, yeah, it has broken its ceiling. X Y Z one two said hi, thank you for joining the live stream. Ren said so future investments. Let's do a live interview and talk investing young or just investing. Yeah, I'm up for that. Um, we could definitely help grow your channel as well. Consider joining Stack of Social. It's a great community, and you can really get some great knowledge on there as well. Uh, KMMA said he might be smart too. He might also be smart and be building a channel and have a few gram of gold around of silver in those cards and an alibi stack on silver and gold. Do you say when gold or silver is going to down? I mean, I have no idea. No one does. You can estimate, can't you, when you think silver and gold prices are going to increase or decrease, but I mean, that's just a shot in the dark, really, isn't it? I'm not, as an as an investor for the long term, on a long-term low-risk strategy, I'm not really interested in if it's going to go down or up because I believe in it in the long term. And my plan's to liquidate it in two decades or just under. So, yeah, my strategy doesn't really evolve, involve me monitoring the price point. I very rarely monitor the price um, because it just doesn't affect me. I dollar-cost average my way into my investments. So that's how it works for me. Scott Silver said, my thought is that you don't want it shooting to the moon. You want a steady rise and a slight fall to settle on the new higher floor. Yeah, well said. You know, that breeds consistency, doesn't it? And it creates a new, consistent, higher floor. Um, no one particularly wants volatility in their investments. They want a consistent projectional yield on their investments. So, yeah, you're right. You want to see a nice spike and then you want to see it settle down to the to the true average higher floor rating of what the price point is and i think that now is going to be minimum 20 pound an ounce i think that's going to be the new kind of flat rate um scott silver uh i'm sorry we just read that one chris hello chris thanks for joining the live stream great to see you in the live chat k and mma said now nah, i agree i've been investing three years any of these channels never say any prices are going down uh, yeah, I know the community tries not to predict the prices. The bigger channels like you know myself and the others, we know that no one knows. So there's no point trying to predict it just for your content. What stock is your favourite? My favourite is, well, I don't actually own any individual stocks, but I love the S&P 500 as a, as a group stock, as an index fund. I think it's a, a very, very safe long-term investment. I also invest in the FTSE 100, the UK economy. But if I was to invest in an individual stock, I'd probably be looking at Shell, as in oil, the company. I don't think oil is going anywhere. Even if things become more hydro, more electrics, or oil is still going to go up because of it's a non-renewable resource and demand will increase. And if it doesn't increase, then they just have to increase their prices anyway. So I see gold, I see oil as a long-term stockholder is a good position. And I also think McDonald's is a good long-term hold position. I think it's a cheap, affordable food. And with everything else going up, I think more people will be looking at getting a quick, cheaper McDonald's. I know in the States, you guys, McDonald's is quite expensive. But over here in the UK, it's still quite cheap. Chris said, loving the vids. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate that. KMMA. Right, I can't get with that. But by the way, not trying to be cheeky. No, no, I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, listen, these aren't correct thoughts these are just my opinions and everyone's free to 
you know, jump in and out of their own thoughts. That's what makes a great discussion. So thanks for your comments, KM, and I really appreciate it. Luke said, I don't think this dip will last long, to be honest. It's a heat, it's heating back up in the Middle East as we speak, and fear always drives price up. Yeah, Luke's so right there. That's why people love precious metals as an investment, specifically gold and silver, because when there's volatility in the globe, you know, you look at just look at the Russian Ukraine war, the first war invasion in Europe since World War Two. You know, Gaza and Palestine and Israel, all these things increase gold and the value. And, you know, when there's a recession, economic struggles, gold and silver prices increase because people put their money, their capital into precious metals, the commodity as an investment to preserve their wealth. And that's why it's just such a well performing asset. Uh, I monitor, but just out of interest, I'll buy collectible pieces that I do sell on eBay and with the profit I use to stack. Great. So if you can make a bit of profit, you can go back to buying generic bullion. Great way to do it. Blue Key said, hi there. By the way, the price of gold went from £1,955 to £1,888. Oh, has it gone down, has it? Chris, are there any gold news channels or good news sites to get a good insight? There definitely are. Um... I think it comes down to personal preference. I have my own future investments Twitter. The link is in the description of this live stream. And I actually follow some gold channels. So um, you can check those out if you're looking for a gold news channel. Um, KMMA. See you later. Bye. Uh, KMA. I don't do loads on eBay, but breakdown Val can be bars. Got some good UFA pamps, Luna's pamps. The good ones like the tiger, dog, etc. I'm not good with stocks. What do you use as a platform to trade? I use Trading212 because the fees are quite low. It's really, really well known, really well reviewed, and uh, it's easy. So I do that through my ISA. Blue Key, on eBay, I just looked today for a gold coin, empty tubes. Tony the Wizard, oil and bricks is interesting. Definitely, definitely. I really think oil is super interesting. I don't think the price of oil is uh, going anywhere. I think it's a good long-term investment. McDonald's stock is cheap. Yeah, I haven't really looked into the um, PE ratio, the price-to-earnings ratio of stock of McDonald's. I need to sort of take some capital and invest in it as an individual stock. So I think there's some long-term wealth to be made there. If the BRICS nations start trading oil with gold, the dollar may stuff suffer. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's why we invest in gold, isn't it? Whether you're in, a, in in America where it's dollars or Britain here where it's pounds, prop yourself up with gold. KMMA. Now, I said I can't get with that as far as gold, silver being long term and gold I'm more with too. I've got more silver, but at the start didn't know what I was doing. Oh, fair enough. Chris, I'll check them out. No worries, mate. Like I said, my Twitter is in the description below. You can just click the link. Renstocks, how do I grow my YouTube channel? Great question. We don't often have that one. Consistency, mate. Everybody has the great idea to start a business or this great idea to do this, this great idea to do this and that. That's very well, but without consistency, you won't continue in success. The point between you becoming successful, especially on something like YouTube, is the difference between the days when you don't want to do it and not giving up. Everyone starts a YouTube channel and it's easy to do at the beginning because it's new and it's fun. But once the novelty wears off and you come home from work and you can't be bothered because the wife or the girlfriend is wanting your attention or the dog needs feeding or the kids need feeding and you just want to sit down and watch your series. That moment you say, no, I'm not filming tonight is the moment you fail because your competitor is the person going, no, I'm still going to get some form of content out. And that's how I've managed to get it to 5,000 subscribers. And that's how I treat my whole life in general. Yes, sometimes you can overwork yourself. But at the end of the day, you know, success comes with sacrifice. How bad do you want it? So my simple advice would be consistency. Start and don't give up. The day that you think you can't be bothered is the day when you need to upload. And you do that, you will be successful at whatever you do in life. That's my advice. Great question. Joseph said, have you heard of silver almost reaching $30 per ounce? Uh, I haven't, but I mean, that makes sense because in the UK, it's £20 per ounce right now or just over. So, yeah. 
Blukey, I don't consider gold as an investment. I think of it more like a frozen assets because I can't do anything with precious metals until I say, yeah, that's true. I mean, gold is a wealth preservation device. It's not going to make you rich, but it will certainly keep you rich. Uh, Chris said, I've still got a smile on my face. Was able to purchase a handful of quarter ounce new Brits about a month ago at Spot from a friend, mainly inspired by how beautiful you portrayed yours. Oh, love that. Thanks, Chris. Really glad that, um, you know, my videos helped you feel comfortable enough to finally get some gold. And yeah, I really do try and make my backdrops look pretty interesting. I love doing that. They're quite artistic now. Scott said, if Tavex are sending you too much stuff to review, I'll be willing to take some of that burden off your plate. Anything for a pal. Oh, that's very kind of you, Scott. So I'll definitely, I'll tell you what, next time uh, Tavex better an email me and say, future, we've got some stuff we'd like to send you. I'll just say, don't worry about it. Forward it on to Scott, si Scott Silver. I'm sure he'll be happy to take a look. Uh, Renstock said, oh, wow, good advice, thanks. You're more than welcome. It was a great question that deserved a good answer. So, you know, take it in, mate, because I really think if you do stay consistent, you'll achieve great success. You're already investing in precious metals and and stocks at 14. So I think you're doing probably better than any of us ever did. I hope the audio is sounding good, guys. I'm really enjoying this new microphone. My latest video was used from my microphone. And uh, yeah, the audio difference seemed amazing. Really upping the level of the content now. As I hit 5,000 subscribers, I thought, you know what? You guys deserve to listen to these videos in a much higher quality. Ren Stock said, can you go live more? It's fun. Definitely. Thank you for that comment. I will certainly... Do my best to go live more often for sure. I really appreciate that comment. That means a lot. I used to go live a lot more in the past. Um, but, you know, I create so much content here on YouTube that it takes up so much of my time. It really is such a mammoth task. But I'm going to make more time for YouTube lives because it's just a really nice interactive way of being able to connect with you guys, talk about precious metals and even other stuff, you know, sometimes we get into the conspiracy theories and they get really interesting because you guys have some great opinions on on what may be going on around the world in the future, present and the past. So, yeah, definitely be doing more lives going forward in the future. Really trying to grow the channel in 2024 as well. It's been a great year so far. You know, we've just hit 5000 subscribers, so can't really grumble with that, to be honest with you. Um, right, let's have a little look at some more of your comments. Um, I bought yesterday a one tenth ounce Brit, as it's all I can afford, but I am planning on saving up for five of these one tenth ounces and two quarter ounce Britannia, so I could get an ounce with less than pre less premium. Wow, yeah, great stuff. I mean, listen, any gold is better than no gold. Even if it's a one gram gold bar, you know, you're doing better than most people. And if you've got zero debt, then you're smashing it anyway. So let alone whether you have any gold or a one gram piece of gold or a quarter ounce or a tenth ounce, even if you're just debt free, you're better off than most of the nation. So, uh, Keep smashing it, guys. Stay motivated. Stay consistent. Luke said, future investments. Have you heard of the fourth turning? And what's your thoughts on it? Are we there? Are we there now? No, I haven't heard of the fourth turning. Could you give me a bit more information on that? Because I'm not actually sure what that is. Not heard of the fourth turning, I must say. Interesting. Now, you've got me intrigued now as what that might be. 63 people in the live stream, absolutely loving this. I'm going to be live for six more minutes, guys, and then I'm going to call it a day because uh, it's getting late. I know some of you in the UK, it'll be late for you guys, and I've had a very long day today, so I need to call it a day at some point. But, uh, yeah, it's been great tonight. We'll go live for another six more minutes, so make sure you get your questions in up till, uh, up till half past. Oh, wow. Scott Silver has just become a premium future investor. Love that. 
Thank you so much, buddy. That is an honor to have you become a premium future investment member. That's so great. I have now also added you as a moderator here on the channel for your joining as well. So thank you so much, Scott Silver. Welcome to the club, mate. In three days, you will be automatically entered into the Silver Bullion giveaway where I'm going to be giving away some Tavitz Bullion gloves and an ounce of silver. How exciting. Not only that, but you get behind the scenes content. Your channel gets linked in every single video description and you get priority replied to your comments. So big, big shout out to you, mate. Thanks for joining the membership. That means a lot, mate. I really appreciate it. And more importantly, I hope you enjoy being a premium future investor. John, if silver hits £30 here in the UK, I may be tempted to sell my silver stack to a genuine stacker. I have some lovely one ounce coins from all over the world, plus a lot of bars. Very interesting, John. I mean, it's good for you, isn't it? Because you're at a point in your life right now where you would like to, or you could fully retire. And surely that would make good sense to you if you wanted to liquidate your entire stack. The price is high right now. Why not? Why not liquidate? I mean, you'll do very, very well for yourself. That's for sure. Chris, have a good weekend, buddy. What are the gold bars in the back? Thank you, mate. Really appreciate that. So these are silver bars in the back, actually. These are Perf Mint Dragon Bars, 2023 Perf Mint Dragon Bars. Um, love these. I bought them from the Silver Forum. These here are one ounce silver Britannias. And these here are Tavex Bullion one gram gold bars inside these little pouches. Very, very cool. Ooh, love that icon next to your name, Scots. Great to see, mate. New member icon. Every month that will update, mate. So right now it says new member. After one month, it will give you a one. Then two months, you'll get a two. Six months, you'll get a six. And then just like the stack collector and Shawshank go like one, three, two, you will get one year, two year, three year, and four year if you remember that long and all of the other benefits that come with it. So love that, mate. Great to have you as a member. Really appreciate it. Um, fourth turning is interesting. It's like the cycles of society. Look into it, mate. Oh, really? That's very interesting. Almost like a halving for Bitcoin. The cycle is happening for human humans. That's very interesting. Very cool. Absolutely. Where are you based? UK or USA? If you couldn't tell by my British accent, I am indeed in the United Kingdom. British. I am a British citizen. Luke, he said, by the way, I technically started stacking when I was eight. Since 18 years ago, my uncle bought me a silver Gibraltar coin from the Royal Mint. Bloody hell. Wow. Well, that's pretty good. Wow. You must have a very nice precious metal stack. Good for you. That's amazing. I love these comments coming over everyone that's been investing for such a long time. Very, very cool. Really love that. In fact, what I'm going to do, Scott Silver, right now on this live stream, if you go to the live stream, live stream description, I am going to be adding your channel name to the channel members section. Here we go. You will now be added. There we go. There's Scott Silver added to the live stream Here we go, boom. Perfect, let's just add this here. We've got everyone that's a channel member. Stack Collector, Serpent Silver, Bullionaire UK, Cider Soundman, 365 Days of Silver. Absolutely loads of you guys now. And I wish you all the best of luck in the up and coming draw in only three days, how exciting. And as I always say, the more channel members we get, the bigger and better the giveaways I can do. Of course, it helps generate revenue for the channel. And eventually, I'd love to be able to give away a one gram gold bar every single month or even something amazing like, let's say, um, let's say, uh, you know, one tenth ounce gold coin or, or more. So, yeah, really, really cool. Here we go. You have now been added uh, to the description, Scott Silver, for being a channel member. So you are now under that section. Okay, guys, 
Um, let's have a few more look at the comments and then I think it's time to wrap it up at night. I could keep going forever, but I'm a big believer in um, being, you know, quality, not quantity and not overstaying a welcome. I think that that's really important and I always want you guys to enjoy to the max and not get tired. But it's hard to leave when we've got 82 people in the live stream. That is very, very hard to leave. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Um, all right, bear with me. Um, why are you promoting Tavex? Do they pay you? No, they don't pay me. Pay me. They just send me uh, bullion for me to review. They get to hit their target audience and I get to review some fantastic bullion that I might not always buy. Everyone's a winner. Have a very good relationship with Tavix Bullion as well. Highly rate them. Very, very good company. Um, thank you, pal, said Scott Silver. Thank you, mate. Great team. I really appreciate it. Ren Stock said, you should stay in here. I love that, buddy. I'm glad you're really enjoying it. Luke said, congratulations again on 5K future investments. Well deserved, mate. And Blukey said, I only started stacking seriously two weeks ago. Your channel is helping me understand this expensive hobby. So, yeah, I kept that silver coin for that long alone. But I have his, his, I have historical silver too. Um, how did they reach out to you? I reached out to them, reached out to a lot of bullion dealers, and they were the best ones to respond to me. So, yeah, that's why um, I have a very good relationship with Tavis Bullion. Okay, final couple of comments, and then I'm going to shoot off, guys. Mizran said, I went into travel today. They're absolutely amazing with the best Tavex today. They're absolutely amazing people with the best prices. Love that. Next time you go in, make sure you let them know. Um, Future Investments has, you know, also, uh, you know, you know them through Future Investments. That would be really appreciated on my side. Scott's our new channel member and channel moderator. Love that. Well deserved. So give Tommy a clap from me. I certainly will, mate. Okay, and guys, I'm going to leave these last few comments and then it's a night for me. Should I buy silver or should I sell for gold as a 14-year-old? Bit of both. Diversification is key. I think spreading your risk is very, very good. Station Plaza, thanks so much for this live stream future. Have a great weekend and hope you feel much better very soon, mate. Thank you, Station. I really appreciate that, my friend. Blukey, I repeat myself, I might be getting tired. I think we all are, mate. John said, here's to your next milestone, future investments. Brilliant. Take care. We'll speak soon. Good night. Thanks very much, John. And thank you to everyone else. It's been a pleasure tonight. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more exclusive content and the chance to win billion, consider becoming a channel member. Uh, Red Stocks, it is 22.32. So it's 10.32 p.m. And it's bedtime. So it's been a pleasure tonight, guys. Thanks for your wonderful time. Thanks for your wonderful comments. I love all of you for your support. It means the world to me because so much time and effort goes into future investments. It's great to be able to connect with you all. People like Luke, John, Scott, Blukey, Mizran, Ren, Station, everyone, you've smashed it tonight, and I really appreciate it. I will look into the fourth turning, Luke, and uh, you can definitely remind me in my future videos, and uh, we can have a discussion about that. All right, guys, been great uh, talking to you tonight. It's been great fun answering your questions. Thank you for spending your precious time with me and I look forward to seeing you all in the very, very next episode and next live stream. Until then, I'll see you all in the very next episode. Bye bye, guys.